Hey guys, welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Federal, Colorado. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. And today we're going to take a walk around this 2020 Ford F450. This one is a limited trim. And of course, it, is, it does have the FX4 off-road package. Today, we're going to go over some of the features on here, some things you may or may not know about this unit. And of course, kind of show you some tricks when it comes to the fob on particular units especially this Ford right now so as you guys can see off the bat it is it does have a red exterior and when we come up front because it's a limited edition it does have a few upgrades or a few features that you will not find in the lower models one will be the 360 camera this one will have four cameras in total to, to create that effect one up front one on the tailgate and two one on either side of the tow mirrors on here and, and while we go around this vehicle I'm gonna point out those cameras to you but the first camera is right underneath the badge the Ford badge here <coughs> this one does come equipped with uh, front tow hooks LED lights is an upgrade on those uh, higher models and of course creates this fantastic lighting at night it also come with the LED fog lights as well so that's a good thing to have on a vehicle especially driving at night for all those always on the road another good thing about this unit is the engine what you guys are looking at is a 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel engine it's also partnered with Ford's 10 speed automatic transmission this unit produces about 475 horsepower and about 1,050 foot-pounds of torque. Again, with the diesel engines, especially Ford, you can see the engine is all packed up right now. But a few things to show off here. With the diesel engine, you do have two batteries. And of course, when this unit came in on trade, we did run it through our, our local dealership for an all change filters whatever needed to be done but this unit only has 12,110 miles on there so super low mileage for 2020 and of course such a great unit as well as we come around here like I mentioned we do have low mileage on this unit so we do have the original tires those are Continentals 225 70R 19.5s and now you'll find that around that vehicle another fun fact when it comes to Ford is the the badges on that fender and door that kind of tells you or gives you an idea what you're looking at so of course the trim level will be up here the model will be down here and of course the engine stamp that over here so it is a 450 limited with the 6.7 liter power stroke again I did mention about the four cameras you will be able to see that 360 view one of those cameras is located right underneath here it all depends on the vehicle you'll find it up here down here and with Fords you get it all the way over here this one does come equipped with the keypad entry and of course hands-free as well so by me pressing this button allow that vehicle to lock because the keys are on my on, in my pocket and of course to open it up all I have to do is just put my hand in the handle of the door and it will create that effect on unlock the vehicle again um, I've mentioned on previous videos there is some tricks when it comes to the key fob and just want to point out I mean people a lot of people know what a key fob buttons mean but I just want to point out a, a few things here uh, you do have the unlock button lock button this one is the remote start down here is a tailgate release and that will only bring down the tailgate not bring it up this one does come with the panic button and a lot of people ask about keys there is a little button here that will release the key for the vehicle so if for some reason you forget the code on the keypad your battery dies this is your your final option to enter the vehicle so you do have three different ways of gaining access to that vehicle one is the key the other one is the key fob and of course you have the keypad of as well 
So, when it comes to tricks on previous units, I've had access where I would press the unlock button twice and it will bring down those windows. Some units will bring down all four windows, some will bring down only two. I was kind of curious about that this morning, so I came out and I decided to try it with the Ford. I've never done it with a Ford before, so I decided, let's try it out. While me and my cameraman was there chilling, I was like, okay, let's see. And it worked. So, how to do that? Unlock button twice, and you hold on the second um, button um, press. So the first one, you open. The second one, you hold down. Once the windows start to go down, you just release it, and it will go down by itself. So on a hot day like today, you want to air out the vehicle before you, you gain access inside. You don't want to remote start the vehicle. You don't want to run in too long. So you just want some air to pass through. That's a great way to, you know, have that, have those windows go down. So from a distance, you could unlock, unlock, hold down. Once the windows start going down, just release the button and automatically go down. I don't know if there's a feature where all four windows could go down with the key fob, but I will look into that. But I think for on this particular vehicle, it's only the front two windows. I've had units in the past where you had the sunroof and all four windows open at the same time. Again, Ford maybe just made it easier, just, you know, one, one thing. So as we continue, when I open the door, you guys could see those are uh, running boards or power running boards come out and once i lock that vehicle a couple seconds later those will fold in a lot of people love that idea so a lot of stuff don't stick on that on the running board um, especially during the winter when you have the fixed running boards ice accumulate on there it gets slippery so a lot of people like the fact that you know that running board folds in so when it snows it's very easy to just open the door step on go inside and it closes and there's no snow or debris on there but once look at the interior the first thing we see is the the two-tone interior which is sweet i really like that that combination so you do have like a tan inside and a dark gray or you would call it black and of course the doors are the same look as well tons of storage this one does come with three automatic, uh, I would say, uh, memory settings. And of course, with this particular unit being the limited, majority or almost everything is electric. So you have the electric adjustment seats, the electric uh, steering wheel, the electric pedals adjustment, and of course, power mirrors. So with all that being said, all those stuff that are powered once you set your mirrors your seat your pedals and your steering wheel because it's all electric it can be saved into those memory seats so once you plug that into one two or three on that pad you press that and it will adjust itself as needed so it's pretty awesome to have all that being electric so we, when you have multiple drivers of course, everybody can set their, their seat however they want. It is a crew cab, so you have that. You have tons of room in the back here. Again, you still get that two-tone seat. In the middle here, we got an armrest with cup holders in here. Underneath the seat, you got storage. You got a little cargo net, so if you are traveling with extra stuff, in the back of the truck and of course in the center here you have your air vents and of course the back seat is heated and of course you got tons of charge in here this one does come with an inverter so you have 110 power usb and of course a 12 volt plug-in your diesel tank and your your dev tank access points are right here and of course, you're looking at a 48 gallon diesel tank. This one also come equipped with an auxiliary tank and a storage box on the back of the truck. Dual tires in the back. And I did mention it is the FX4 off-road package. 
So for all those who don't know, there is protection underneath the vehicle. So if you are going off-road or in, in areas where you kick up a lot of dirt and rocks, that protection or that skid plate underneath there will protect the gas tank, the fuel tank, and of course the engine and anything that's important underneath there. You got a limited badge on the tailgate. You have that uh, third camera on the tailgate as well. This one does come equipped with front and rear sensors. Also has a back hitch over here. Does come equipped with a seven pin and a four pin hookup. Soft release tailgate, fully spray bed line. This one does come equipped with a gooseneck ball already installed but again if you want the option of having a fifth wheel this one is pre-hooked up uh, with a fifth wheel for the fifth wheel as well rest step and an angle here to go in and out as we come around we do have a, another camera a fifth camera this one will give you access for viewing the back of the, the truck especially when you're backing into your trailers and now it takes us inside so we're gonna go inside and kind of see some of the features in in the interior and again guys if you have any questions feel free comment on the comment section below or you could give us a call at the end of this video as well so one thing I wanted to mention right here, give you some information. And of course, limited means a limited amount. So I kind of uh, learned that the hard way. <laughs> so with the, F, with the Ford F450, it kind of gives you this stamp on here. And it shows you the F450, it shows you the trim level. It has a VIN and a year. And of course, right here is a number. 0079 and with the information I got that 79 means this has been the sev the 79th vehicle in the limited package so this is number 79 so you will see numbers on here that will give you what number that vehicle is so that's a cool insight to the limited package a lot of people didn't know that uh, okay so this one does have a push to start so right now I just have the ignition on. You have this awesome touchscreen, which you can navigate everything through that touchscreen. Again, with in, with uh, entertainment, you do have FM, AM, and satellite radio. You can control all your AC through the touchscreen. This one does come with heated steering wheel as well as cool and heated seats. You can connect your phone via Bluetooth. This one does come equipped with navigation, but it does have the option for Android and Apple Play capability by plugging in into your USB slot down here. Also, down here does have a wireless charger. It could go as big as an iPhone Pro Max. So that's one of the biggest iPhones. That's what I have, so I could compare that to other phones out there so this could fit any big phone you do have some wireless pads that would not allow you to charge the bigger phones but this one has the access for that again a nice little storage so you could put your phone down in here and take it out of sight out of mind down here you got all your AC controls where you could do it manually if you don't want to use the touch screen this one does come with this one is 4x4, so you have all the 4x4 controls. You got your trailer backup system, and of course, your trailer brake system up here as well. Auxiliary switches. Again, if you don't want to do aftermarket switches, when it comes to the Ford, Ram, all the different uh, trucks out there or models, uh, they do have the auxiliary switches so you don't have to have um, aftermarket switches on your vehicle so it gives you six auxiliaries 
You could label them as needed. This one does have a rear window. This one does come with the panoramic sunroof. So the whole roof is glass, or majority of the roof is glass. And of course, a lot of people love that feature on a vehicle, especially when they go in for long road trips, especially going through the canyons and stuff. They could have a clear view of the sky, and it's pretty awesome. For all those who have it, you know, you could kind of tell people what your experience is like having a panoramic sunroof. Again, this unit only has 12,110 miles as of this video today. Awesome unit. It is available right now. Please give us a call today if you are interested. There's so much features on here. I kind of point out every single thing. But again, if you guys are interested, please give me a call at 303-684-3412. Or you could call or text me on my cell at 661-755. 4344. You, you could also email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com for any more information, comments, questions, whatever the case may be. Feel free to reach out. In the meantime, I'll be with you guys back here tomorrow for another video. Of course, hope to see you guys then. In the meantime, have a great day and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Thank you.